here. Fast! Okay, that takes care of the yellow turbines in the area. I couldn't have asked for a better result than this. <laughs> yes, that takes care of Master Sun Jian's request. Now let us return to the village. Nothing can stop me from fulfilling my ambition! Wow! That was awesome! I get worked up just watching you! Ooh. We have driven off the Yellow Turban army that was headed this way. That should keep them at bay for the time being. Ah, you did it! I could tell there was something special about you from the moment I first saw you. You definitely stand out from the rest of this crowd. It is a great honor to be fighting alongside you. Thank you again for your cooperation. I apologize for my sudden request earlier. If only the rest of our army was as capable as you, I would not have had to trouble you so. I originally reported it to Master Dong Zhuo. However, he said there was no glory to be had in protecting a single village and didn't wish to spare the troops. Dong Zhuo of Liang Province? I do believe he has been given the responsibility of leading our forces in this battle. It is not as though he is without troops of his own. As such, it is likely that he is only looking out for himself. Yes, I thought the same thing myself. It is immoral scoundrels like him that cause unrest such as this in the first place. There is little point in lamenting that fact now, though. Our primary focus should be on putting down this rebellion and restoring peace to the land. Huh. This situation reeks of greed and opportunism on all sides. I have a feeling this battle will not be resolved so easily. You're right about that. I'm beginning to suspect some of our allies just as much as the enemy. We should probably watch our backs out there on the battlefield. Now then, let's get started on our preparations. We can meet up at the village entrance once we're finished. You the- Are you also with the assembled Imperial forces? We are volunteer troops. We're fighting in this battle in order to ease the suffering of the ordinary people. The Yellow Turbans themselves began as suffering peasants. I would like to bring salvation to them also, but unfortunately that seems impossible. I see. You are not here for personal gain, but out of concern for the people. I admire your resolve, but it will not be easy. It takes time to try and save everyone. In that time, though, the chaos spreads, causing even more to suffer. Our only choice is to do whatever it takes to end this rebellion as quickly as possible. It may seem heartless, but in the end, it will save even more lives. I am known as Guan Yu. I believe our meeting here is some kind of fate. I hope to see more of you both. The name's Zheng Fei. I'm pretty handy in a brawl, if I do say so myself. Nice to meet ya. Cao Cao.
Again, can cut through anything. Please take this. The time of the Han has ended. Long live the yellow turbans. Hmm. What's troubling you, Cao Cao? That's the chant the yellow turbans keep saying. There are many who are dissatisfied with the corruption that runs rampant in the government, even if they are not part of this uprising. Even if we slay Zhang Xiao and quell this rebellion, Another is likely to rise up in its place. I cannot help but feel their sentiment about the Han is correct. Well, we can't simply let things continue on as they are. The longer this rebellion goes on, the more people will be drawn to its cause. Not only that, but a land under the yellow turbans just doesn't sound all that appealing to me. You are both right. No matter how righteous one's cause is, they are simply mere bandits if they approach it without discipline. For now, we need to eliminate Zhang Zhao and put down this rebellion. Then we can focus on dealing with the root causes behind it all. We move! 